we're trying to show some things that uh, you might want to have around your shop if you're working on stringed instruments. One thing is uh, <clears throat> some single edge razor blades. I buy these uh, in packages and get them at wherever I can from online to maybe at the Walmart or somewhere. Here's another type of uh, single edge razor blade that I use. You can hold them in your hand, maybe put you some tape on the edge of them to make them a little more friendly for your hand. Here are some uh, blades that a friend of mine gave me several years back. <clears throat> and I've used, I've got about three or four left. But that's a handy little blade. It's, uh, I think he used it in the, maybe in the carpet industry or something. It's an industrial type thing. You might can find them online. I never have tried to. And uh, <clears throat> scrapers. I've made several scrapers. Here's a thick one that I I made. And here's one that was a store bought one, I believe, originally. And I cut it down. And here's one I made out of a a saw blade. Here's one I put a little handle on. Here's one I mounted in a little piece of. Uh, Plastic, and I use that to go around the binding on a guitar to limit where how much of it is exposed. That works pretty good. And of course, you can uh, you can turn a hook on these razor blades. This is a burnishing tool, and you can mount this thing in a vise or something, and turn your little hook on it. I think I saw Dan early wine just hitting it on the edge of his bandsaw or some cast iron thing. But if you can turn your little hook on it, it makes it cut a little bit better. Same way with those uh, scrapers. 